Good evening. Thanks for choosing Twin States News. I'm Nick Smith. Increased testing for COVID-19 continues to reveal a disturbing number of new cases across the country, a surge that is pushing hospitals in some areas past their limits. Many on the front lines now calling for a national mandate that everyone wear a mask in public. While there are new indications, the White House may be going in a different direction when it comes to the pandemic. Jay Gray has details. A weekend of parties packed beaches and lakes coast to coast, frightening images for those on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. I do anticipate that after this weekend's parties, we are going to see uh, a bump uh, in the next uh, you know, week to 10 days, two weeks. A bump in many areas already stretched to their limits. More than half of the country is dealing with a surge in cases, many hotspots now dangerously close to running out of hospital beds. The modelers taking a look at our numbers told us uh, uh, about a week ago uh, that we were on a tra trajectory uh, that was going to have our hospitals uh, overwhelmed in what is now probably uh, 10 days to two weeks. Some now calling for a national measure requiring face coverings in public, though there's no indication the president is considering the idea. Senior administration officials telling NBC News the White House will soon unveil a new message on the pandemic urging the nation to, quote, learn to live with the virus, downplaying its severity. Now we have tested almost 40 million people. By so doing, we show cases, 99% of which are totally harmless. Medical professionals pushing back. We've seen marathon runners have to learn how to walk and breathe again. This is not a no big deal for people that just survived. This is a serious virus. Spreading in some areas at record levels. 